Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. The Christian Outline New Testament. And man, Nelson came out like the Christian Life Study Bible, the Outline Study Bible. These outlines were actually in the first open Bible, or some very similar to them. And so they, they've become very popular. And so CBD was running a sale on these guys. You can see um, this one one obviously had like a name imprinted on the front and so they did this so the normal price for this it retails it did like for $7.99 maybe more than that and I think they were selling these for a dollar 49 so so what makes this so special is the master life the outlines the christian life study outlines now of course i'm a pentecostal i'm a holy ghost filled new testament apostolic and so these outlines would be more generic evangelical now there's still some really good things and it tells you what page to go to so what they did is they would use these like as new converts courses and uh, as a young Christian, even though they didn't comport always with the doctrines that you know I believe and teach, I was able to use these. It's just a fantastic idea. And so like it'll have repentance and it'll tell you go here at repentance. It kind of gives you a, a chain reference for various and sundry doctrines. And even like being born again, it takes you to John 3, 1 and 8. And... Uh, that type thing so it's got about 15 and so you can see when it'll tell you to go the bible commands a believer to study the scriptures and so it'll give you like a little study bible in here and these are just absolutely great <laughs> what can i say and again, my pastor, I'm so grateful that I had a pastor that was much like, I guess, Gamaliel, Paul's uh, mentor. I wish I'd have turned out far more like Paul. Brother Ladd had deserved that. But, you know, he, he was very, he'd always tell us, eat the food, spit out the sticks. He was not afraid to have us read different things that challenged our belief system. And it made me a stronger uh, Christian because of it so now it says your decision record has that you can be saved and know it and it says baptize the name of the Father Son Holy Ghost of course we would disagree with that because we know what the name of the Father Son Holy Ghost Jesus all the fullness of the Godhead dwells in him bodily we're completing him but now look at this like it's got a little prayer list section in the back that's really cool I really like that. It's got another little section back here too. Let me get that personal study notes. Got some real thick pages. The thick pages help stabilize the spine. And this is just a good, good size little New Testament too. It's real thin. It's a little thinner than the Precious Promises New Testament. And it's going to be you know, about five and a half inches tall, which is, you know, it's just a good size. You, it, it fits in a man's pocket, so I'm sure it'd fit in a lady's purse, that type thing. And uh, about three and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna guess it's not even an inch thick. It's not gonna be anywhere close to an inch thick, I don't think. Let's see what it reads. And it is King James. They make it New King James. Yeah, it's it's between half and three quarters of an inch thing, thick. But now, you know, I, CBD sells a lot of things like this. Like I buy a lot of distressed books and Bibles from CBD and and eBay and Goodwill, <laughs> different places. It, so I'm looking for the information. It doesn't have to be perfect. If I can save five dollars and use it for the work of Jesus Christ, I'm going to do that. And uh, you know, people say, "Well, God's got the money; He can give you that five dollars." And I know He does. At the same time, it, it talks about being prudent and uh, taking good care of your money and all that kind of stuff. And 
you know, the balance between God loves a cheerful giver and all this. Another thing about this, I mean, it's good print, and it also has in-text headings, which I really like. So we're in Acts 11 and 12 here. So you can kind of get a good feel for that, too. So it's just a great size. So if you can get away, you know, from the doctrinal conformities, you know, or deformities, as some might would say, just a great little thing to personally have. Not sure I'd just pass them all out, just if you disagree with the, the doctrines found in there, but for you personally have, it's a great idea. And maybe somebody can, you know, start getting that in, uh, you know, imprinting them with apostolic doctrine. It'd be really good. So, talk with you later. God bless in Jesus' name.